Throwing to start the drive. Wilcox. And out across midfield, down to the 45. Big yardage there on the scramble. It gets him a first down. And you know what we just witnessed, partner? A new NFL record for single-game rushing by a quarterback, breaking Colin Kaepernick's record of 181 yards set in the playoffs back in 2013. How about that field vision, athleticism that we've seen throughout this game? It's been nothing short of elite. So the big play moves him all the way across midfield. It's first and 10 from the 45. Off the play fake, Wilcox. This one caught by Kittle. Touchdown, 49ers. George Kittle, 45 yards. And the Niners are able to add on to their first half lead. For a big tight end, he can sure move like a slot receiver when he gets a head of steam going. And as a defensive back, you've got a big decision to make when he's moving like that. quarterback leading this offense back out but he's done everything right so far in this first half two touchdown passes two touchdown hey. off play action Wilcox and he bats it away and it falls down incomplete zone coverage there and they were playing deep that makes it obviously a little bit harder to run by guys and that time there was not much of a window to get the ball in there and it winds up incomplete taking a shot for Samuel and that's caught inside the 35 a big play there for the Niners 43 yards this offense is looking very comfortable here in this first half very relaxed very smooth very efficient no wasted motions. Things are definitely going their way, and they continue to move the ball downfield. Throwing on first down. Wilcox being chased out left. He's going to fire one. Corner of the end zone. And this is caught. For the moment, it's a touchdown, but multiple flags down, so let's sort this out. Illegal forward pass. Offense. the yardage and retract the touchdown okay, and retract the chunk play big strike there to get the touchdown now they've got to take it back and see if they've got another one still in their arsenal eluding the pressure right and this one taken in on the right sideline but not in the field of play they say it's incomplete the throw led him a little too far it brings up third down an incomplete pass on that last play and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down Again, he'll drop to throw. Buying time to his left. Now he's loose again. And he's going to take it in. Touchdown, San Francisco. It's their quarterback. 37 yards. As his guys have opened up a very comfortable lead. So an electrifying run there as he calls his own number and takes it all the way. Brings a new dynamic to this offense, doesn't he? And right now I'm picturing the offensive coordinator, the head coach in their minds, drawing up some more running plays for this guy because he brings some excitement to this offense. And just a young rookie, a lot of electricity yet to come in this. He's had quite the game running the football. Last time he finished... Okay, ready? Roll, roll, roll. Let's go. Throwing to start the drive. Wilcox. 
And they will get him down, but not before he gets very good yardage there, as that will lead us right into the two-minute warning. No one there to help out downfield, but no problem. Scrambling for 22 and a first. On first down, Wilcox. And his throw is going to be incomplete. I think he's got to be careful not to force anything into coverage right there. There weren't really any throwing lanes, but the best part for him, he's got second and third down to fall back on. And second and ten, he'll look to throw again. And this will be incomplete. Feels like they're getting caught in between here because they had incompletions on first and second down. Now you got to worry a little bit about the clock because you prefer not to give them another shot here in the first half. But if you don't pick up the first down, guess what? You're likely going to have to. They shakes him off. Flush to his right. The Rams going to go ahead and use the first of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Now we get a peek at the captain of this offense heading back out there. And he's been good. Two first. On first and ten, Wilcox flushed out right. No one there to help out downfield, but no problem. Scrambling for 22 and a first. And he spins through. So we reach halftime in what's been a fairly one-sided game so far. As we'll send you eastward to Orlando. Standing by with that EA Sports halftime report now is Jonathan Coachman. Take it away, Coach. Okay, Brandon, we'll get you back to you and Charles in a bit. But first, it's time for a trip around the NFL following an eventful opening weekend. Let's see what's happening in week two. We'll start by heading out west to Glendale, Arizona. And they are seconds away from halftime, all tied in that one. From there, we head down south to Atlanta. To check on the Falcons at home at Mercedes-Benz. For well, everyone. The 49er offense set to go to begin quarter number three. Throwing on first down, Wilcox escaping the pressure right. Dancing away at the 35. And yeah, they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. I guess no need to force it when you can do that instead. First down, 18-yard gain. These are running back numbers that he's accumulating right now. Received double-digit carries and has rewarded them by breaking the century mark and rushing, in addition to what he's done through the air. Definitely MVP caliber football we're witnessing. And he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. Big yardage there on the scramble. It gets him a first down. Partner, even I can figure out who deserves the lion's share of credit for their lead right now because he has been terrific in a dual-threat role, really chewing up yardage and getting them points with his legs. Simply put, that defense has had no way of stopping him, and that's why his side is on top. Now a throw to the end zone on first down, but it winds up incomplete. They decided the opportunity was there and launched a deep ball, but he was unable to get away from the defender, couldn't create space, couldn't uncover the end of the route, and that one winds up incomplete. Touchdown! Debo Samuel, 31 yards, as his guys are able to push that lead out a bit further. So, Charles, they are well on their way to a 2-0 start. Now, last week, they had the close victory. This one more commanding, much more comfortable. Well, the sense we got from them was that last week, they felt like they didn't play their best. They got the win, but they weren't really on top of their game. But they put it all together here in this one, haven't they? What an impressive, impressive performance. And 
as San Francisco gets set to go here. On first down, Wilcox eluding the pressure right. Oh, this one incomplete. The pressure got to him as he released it. And it's second down. Oh, he's been fun to Let's watch go. in this one. He's made the correct reads all game long and helped stake his team a huge lead. Running, passing, he's made all the right decisions. But that wasn't the right read. And the Rams got him. They bring him down. That winds up pushing him back 11 yards on the sack. And that'll bring up third. Now that was a passer's nightmare. The front door totally shut down by the defense, so he kept going backwards, hoping to find another avenue of escape. It didn't exist. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Oh, able to avoid him. And this will not get close to the first down marker as he's brought down at the 26. Able to pick up a dozen yards, but they needed more. Fourth down. And this is a rarity in the NFL. A 100-yard game on the ground for a quarterback. Even as those passers get... Out comes this field general once more, leading his offense back onto the field. Throwing to start the drive. Wilcox. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. And it appears we've got a member of the Rams shaken up on that last play. So first and 10. And if they score on this drive, might have to start digging in our second half blowout material. A good gain of nine before he's brought down at the 28. I do think it's fair to say that they were caught off guard a little bit when he decided not to throw it on first down. But give them credit. They recovered in time to deny him the first down yardage. But it's only second and short. So that run is still likely to lead to a new set of downs. And he gets it all the way down inside the 10 and mark him at the 5. 23 yards on the tuck and run. Facing second and short, that gives you a chance to go for a bigger play through the air. But I think he said to himself, why don't I just handle this way? Got all the yards you needed, and then some, and made that snap. Back now in Los Angeles. It's 49er football here. They've got the lead as well as we get set to start the fourth and final quarter. Flush to his right. And across the chalk, into the end zone, it's a 49er touchdown. A five-yard touchdown run. And the 49ers are on their way to a 2-0 start. And this is a balancing act for a head coach with a rookie quarterback. You've got to walk a line with him. You don't want him getting happy feet, but you also don't want to rein in what worked for him in college. And here, he pulls it down, takes it himself, and takes it into the end zone. San Francisco's offense returns to the field. They go play action here on first down. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. As a defensive back, you have some weapons at your disposal that we don't often talk about. And you can read the receiver's eyes, you can read his hands, and you know that the arrival of the ball is imminent, and that allows you to make a play on it and oftentimes knock it away. Five yards, now it's third and five. So much goes into a successful play, doesn't it? How about that play action there, freezing the defense just enough to spring the tight end free downfield for the completion. And this offense on third down today, just one for three thus far. This will be third and five. And off the option, he'll try and run with it. And a nice move will yield nothing as he's stopped behind the line. 
Losing two yards that time, and now it's fourth down.
San Francisco set to go on offense once more. And they'll run the option to start the drive. 